Hi folks, and welcome to I Was a Teenage Exocolonist. I am so excited to be playing this game on this channel. I, I can't wait to be playing this as well. Uh, Gina has been talking about this game for weeks and weeks now. Effectively to anybody who will listen yeah. or sit in one place for yeah. long enough. <laughs> Uh, it's gotten to the point where, like, my team at work will snort laugh every time I bring it up because at least I'm talking to someone that's not them about it. So that's good. Um, for context, hi, I'm Gina, and I have played this game before. And I'm Allison, and I have not played this game before. Such is our formula now, apparently. Like, not, <laughs> not always, but that's sometimes. True. A lot of the time. I'd say 75% of the time. I like, think that's it's a, Gina has played it. Allison has not. So I just play a lot of games. But... But I will say, uh, I was a teenage exocolonist. It's probably my, uh, or was probably my game of the year for 2022. Huge. Um, and I, I think, while it was very well reviewed and it was very, very well regarded by everyone that played it, I think it flew a little bit under the radar. So I'm very glad that we are going to get a chance to share it here. Yeah, I am so excited because I didn't know about it until you started talking about it, and you're like, "Yeah, I played this game. I was a teenage exocolonist." I'm like, "I, I was a what now? What is this?" What? <laughs> I will say, I, I. <laughs> have very mixed feelings about the title. On one hand, it's catchy and memorable. On the other hand, I do not think it is properly evocative of what the game actually is. Oh, interesting. Um, but that's okay. It feels very like I was a teenage robot. Yeah, um, that's what I thought they were going yeah, for. Uh, yeah. As opposed to like what the game really is. Uh, but I, like I said, I'm excited for everybody to uh, learn what that is live. Yeah, well, who? Oh, what is this game? Who made this game? This was... Uh... Uh, who are our developers on this one? Sorry, I'm you pulling put me on, on the spot. spot. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, a uh, game was developed by Northway Games and published by Finji. Finji. Um, and uh, it's a lot of uh, musicians and artists and programmers and so on that came together to make this possible. It so. looks beautiful so far, even just here hanging out on the starting screen. Uh, should we just hop into it? Let's give this thing a go. I'm really excited. Ooh, I do love me a tree that looks like we're gonna get like a progression tree or something we'll see indeed <laughs> warning this game deals with mature subjects and may not be suitable for all players please see all our, our content warnings in the system menu for a detailed list of the themes and events all right oh you awake to chaos a confusion of light and heat and smoke fire your head is pounding you must have hit it and blacked out, but you aren't sure how you got here or what on Vertuma is happening. Vertumna. Vertumna? Oh, yep, there's yep. an M and an N there. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> there's something important you need to remember. Whoa. Your stomach lurches as the floor crumbles beneath your feet, then collapses. Oh, I love the art style already. It's mm -hmm. so cool. You're. Oh. Your body aches as your eyes burn from the smoke, as a figure appears through the flames. It's your friend. Your friend? Wait, why can't you remember her name? She's gesturing and shouting at you, but all you hear is a ringing in your ears. What's going on? Climb out. Um, what's going on? You try to speak, but the words come out jumbled. Your throat seizes around your lung full of choking smoke, and you feel dizzy and confused. Your friend pulls you out of the rubble. She throws your throws your arm over her shoulder and half drags you towards the door. Through it, you see a deep, eerie twilight, dark blue and cold against the heat of the fire around you. Glow season. Oh, dog! Oh, the eyes! I know. <laughs> Hello, puppy. Oh, are you so? Are you moving the camera around? No. Oh, that's just, just animated. Okay. Yep. Glowing eyes. You shake your head and to clear your vision. Is that? Some kind of dog? Like from Earth? Oh. Oh, no. The creature howls and lunges, its jaws open. Oh, wow. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Messed up to die in the first Whoa. minute of the game. Are we dead? Oh, shit. We got shit. attacked by a little beastie. We got attacked by a dog. Also, Ooh, this, this is, is rad. I love the soundtrack of this game. I highly recommend looking it up. Everyone. Oh, I can't wait to listen to it. I love the art style. It's like a like a picture book. Yep, very yeah. much so. 
You are born. Are you okay if I'm reading this? Yeah, go for uh, it. You are born on the stratos on the stratospheric Earth's first colony ship, halfway through its 20-year voyage to a wormhole at the edge of the solar system. Oh, look at our parents! Mm -hmm. I love the art. I love the art. It's so game. pretty. And the music, like I said, I like. I yeah. really like this game. <laughs> your, pa your parents run the hydroponic gardens, which which make air. Oh, wait, bleh. your parents run the hydroponic gardens, which make fresh air and vegetables for the ship. Like the other colonists, they bravely chose to make this one-way journey to the uncharted pl planet of Vertumna, Vertumna 4, uh, in hope that they could escape Earth's troubles. Uh, they had you the old-fashioned way, merging their genes like they merged their cultures and traditions. They name you... Uh, so oh, we got a bunch of names here. Solana say Solana, Solane, but unfortunately it is Roscoe. It's gotta be oh, Roscoe. No! Oh, <laughs> did you not pick... Oh, okay. can we change our name? Uh, yeah, but we might need to, we might need to Did go. Did you just Oh, there it is. Continue. Rename character. Okay. It's, uh, I need to go type it. One second. Oh. <laughs> Give Gina, me a moment. Gina has to get up I'll be right back. off the couch to type our name. It's got to be Roscoe. Roscoe. Okay. Yay. <laughs> Excellent. Beautiful. I tried to select the, the text box and it was like, yeah. <laughs> Good. That's kind of interesting that, you know, this game is almost fully optimized for controller, but then you gotta type in some stuff here and there. Um, is that right? Or do you need to click back? Uh-oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, Name change Roscoe. Okay. There we go. All um, good. Um, cool. I, I was wondering how that would work, because I actually played this on the Steam Deck originally, and it was a bit of a pain with the typing, so oh, no. maybe a okay. thing. All right. Uh, uh, pronouns, gender, anything we want to change? I think we can keep... Unless you want to keep that the way it is. I, I would like it us to be uh, they, them, if possible. I, I don't I care say where we fall on the androgyny scale. We can want to just leave it middle. Let's take Yeah, let's keep it how let's it is. Let's just keep it middle. I wanna, uh, yeah, perfect. Um, you're a bright-eyed child with an active imagination. Sometimes too active, your mom says. Use the sliders on the left to choose pronoun um, and late teens appearance. Uh, they can be changed at any time. Okay. Well, yeah, we'll stick with our pronouns and appearance for now. Mm -hmm. That works. Um... You have, the vi you have vivid dreams of things you've never experienced. Dirt under your feet, skies overhead, endless jungles, and strange animals. You wonder, you wonder if this is what Vertumna will be like. Hmm. Every child on the stratospheric is given one genetic enhancement. By age six, you see the first signs of yours. You got eagle eyes, extra fingers, absorbent brain, super strength, calm temperament, or nothing at all. Ooh. My my instinct is go to absorb, absorbent brain. Okay. I kind of like Sounds that. Sounds good. Okay. Professor Hal says kids learn fast because their brains are like sponges. But when people get older, they can't absorb as much new stuff. Not for you. You're always learning and your curiosity knows no end. Okay. Cool. All right. So we We're, got, um, we with that, we got plus 10 to reasoning and we gained a memory absorbent brain one, which nice. is plus one on skill for blue challenges uh, win. Okay. Cool. I love the art. It's so cute. <laughs> Look at all these kids. It's so cute. The other kids have trouble keeping up with you, but one tries. Um, so there's uh, energetic and loyal anemone, a uh, tough and gentle cow, bold and confident Mars, Quiet and adventurous Dis, studious and mature Tangent, and shy and sweet Tammy. Love their names. Uh, who, who should, who should be our friend? Who are we feeling? Um, uh, so just for the ones on screen, I could say from left to right, uh, left is Anemone, Cal, Mars, and Dis. Okay. Uh, the other uh, Tangent and Tammy are not on screen. Gotcha. Um, I was inclined to go. I don't know either energetic and loyal enemy or tough and gentle cow because if we're like a little brainy kid i feel like we need like a, a we counterpart need a, a counterpart either yeah. someone who's like chill but also like takes no shit but all but maybe also someone who is just full of energy and we're like i don't know if we're more reserved or something i'm not sure but uh, we get to decide that let's go with oh they're all so cute oh little babies they're little babies let's hang out with cal okay yeah Cal is a sweetheart, always ready to lend a hand or play a game. Uh, he and Tammy are just as inseparable, so it's almost like you have two best friends instead of one. Oh, nice. We get hang out with Tammy, too. Mm -hmm. That's great. Um, 
Cal teaches you how to take care of all the classroom plants. Your parents are very proud of both of you. And through that, we got plus 11 to biology, uh, plus 10 to animals, and we got a memory of Cal. And we got Cal's strength, right? Oh, uh, yeah, that's the, that's the memory. The, oh, all, that's these the little cards are called memories. Got it, got it. Yep. Nice! Yeah, Cal! Yeah, Cal! That sounds great. Oh, we're so cute. Uh, you're 10 years old when the ship finally reaches the wormhole. Professor Hal says it's like a doorway to the other star systems with the planet Vertumna 4 on the other side. You run emergency drills for months to prepare. Ooh. When the day finally comes, it starts with a rumble. Then things start to slide off the tables. You hurry to gather near the escape pods just in case. Uh, oh, I don't know. What's the frowning? Stress. Oh, plus 20 stress. The emergency area is crowded with families. Um, do we, yeah, I guess we can. Do you want to be? Yeah, the... actually, we'll do this just like we did with 999. Like we have a narrator yeah, yeah, yeah. and then we all have to jump in with voices, right? Absolutely. Yeah. So uh, between the parents, which one do you want? Um, uh, I'll be the mom. Okay. I'll be the mom. Sure. It's going to be fine, Roscoe. Oh, your dad soothes. We'll be through the wormhole and down on the planet before you know it. Just like we practiced. Your mom gives him a sharp, worried look. Oh. Ooh, shit. Red emergency lights switch on as the siren begins to sound somewhere in the distant, somewhere distant in the ship. You try to breathe slowly like you were taught, but you're very scared. You look out a porthole. The stars are gone! When you're frightened, you... We can't put on a tough face or find a distraction, so we get in touch with our get emotions. Get in touch with our emotions. Yeah. Oh... <laughs> Uh, you oh no, you ball like a baby. It feels good. You aren't the only one. Nearby, your classmate Tammy has tears streaming down her cheeks. Mars is quietly trying to console her. She sighs as your crying makes Tammy wail even louder. Your dad puts his arms around you as you let it out. You wait. The shaking builds. Then everything starts to get very weird. The hallway stretches, stretches, and you're stretching too, your arms impossibly long. Your head feels like it's slowly filling up like a balloon and contracting down the, to the size of an atom at the same time. Is this the wormhole? You hear the distant, ominous squeal of metal giving way as the ship shudders and lurches in slow motion. The weirdest part is a sense of deja vu. You're sure this has happened to you before, and you know somehow that everything is going to be okay. <laughs> That's kind of neat. Uh, oh, I just, I'm realizing that we have like little indicator bars at the top for like stress and yep. stuff. Okay. Um, Our stress has been plummeting over the course yeah. of this. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the shuddering reaches a crescendo. You hear an impossibly loud crunch and feel weightless for a second, for a few seconds before gravity slams you back to the wall head first. You black out. As you slip unconscious, you feel yourself twisted out of time. It's today, yesterday, and tomorrow all at once. And and more than just one tomorrow, lots of them. Different tomorrows. Branching! Oh, oh, this is an, oh the art! Oh my god, it's so cool! Uh, you find yourself in a place that you know from your dreams. Tilled fields, dramatic ridges, and a stranger, but also not a stranger, grinning as she grabs your hand. Uh, I guess I'll be her. I don't know. Sure. Hurry up, she says. I'm not going to let you miss this. Distantly, you can feel the ship's shaking has stopped and hear your parents' worried voices. Feeling safe, you slip further into the warm embrace of the stars. You drift. Gradually, your consciousness reforms. You wake up in the med bay. The med bed under you plays a soft tone as an automated voice speaks. Ooh. Two weeks has elapsed. The patient's cranial injury has completed healing. They may now be safely discharged. Oh, we bonked our head and we're out for two weeks? Mm -hmm. Oh my god! As the fog lifts from your head, you realize something seems different about this room. It's so bright? You try to focus on the window. Something is definitely different. Sunlight, trees, ground? Sunlight, it seems like. Sunlight? Instead of the familiar blackness of space, 
bright light from twin blue and yellow suns is streaming through the windows. You, f uh, you peer out and see fields, glass-walled domes, and walls ringed by giant mushroom-like trees. There are construction materials everywhere, and people are walking around, outside, on the ground! You better get out there and join them! Rush um, outside and start your new life? Cautiously step outside and start your new <laughs> life. Uh, I feel like we would be careful. Let's cautiously step outside. Here we go. <laughs> oh, this is not what I expected. I don't know what I expected. <laughs> oh, Tammy jumps as you step out of the ship's quarters behind her. You're awake. Are you all better? You better go see your dad. She points southeast towards some uh, geodesic domes. Okay. To walk, click on the ground to uh, click on characters to talk to them. Okay. Good. Hey, Tammy. What's Tammy. up? Tammy! I love her ears and her design. Mm -hmm. She's so cute. Oh, oh, Tammy looks concerned. You slept for a long... You slept for so long after you bumped your head. She says. I bet your parents were worried. Your dad is working over in geoponics near the domes. They're called greenhouses. I would go with you, but, um... Well, this is as far as I've been from the ship since we landed. Tammy stammers, blushing. It's scary outside. Oh. Oh, Tammy. Tammy, honestly, I might be with you. Because <laughs> <laughs> we were like, we were born in space. This is, this, you know, we never saw Earth. No, yeah. We, oh my God. Look at this. We're hey, on Dad. a planet. Dad. Uh, oh. Roscoe. Your dad gives you a big, warm hug. I'm so happy you're finally awake. Dr. Instance thought that it'd be best to keep you asleep while your noggin healed. Your mother and I thought that you might sleep away the whole year, my snoozy little gooseberry. <laughs> he checks your head and looks relieved. He was clearly very worried about you, but covers it with jokes and smiles. Aw, you love your dad. Aww. He's so embarrassing. We love our dad. We love our dad. Yeah. Welcome to Vertumna, he says, gesturing around you. You've never seen the stratospheric from the outside, except in pictures. The ship has been separated in two, and parts taken off the f off to form other buildings and a big wall around the whole colony. The alien jungle creeps right around the uh, right up to the wall. Only the geodesic greenhouses pass outside, dotting their way up the hill. It's beautiful. How did you do this so fast? And what's outside the walls? Ah, uh, how did you do this so fast? It's, I, it's only been two weeks, and we're already like set up, and we've got a little town going. Mm. Um, I mean, I imagine that this was, the the ship was designed to set up quickly. Um, yeah, I yeah. guess you take it apart and then it immediately starts, like, it's just designed mm -hmm. to make shelters and things. Yeah. You've been asleep for weeks, my dear little aubergine. We're a little eggplant. Yeah. He says. And these geodesic green greenhouses practically put themselves up, but some of it is only a quick temporary solution. He admits. We'll keep growing and improving things. One day... Our little colony will be as big as a whole city. Wow. Oh, before I forget. He pulls a package out of his satchel and hands it to you. You blink and stare at it blankly. Don't you know what day it is? He asks. You honestly don't know. You remind him that you've been asleep in Medbay. Happy birthday. He shouts, wrapping you in a warm hug. Your birthday already? You feel a, a dizzying sense of deja vu. You stare at the wrapped package. You know exactly what is in there. You remember it. No, you dreamed about this package some years ago on the ship. Inside will be a, a small medallion in the shape of a sun that your dad made by hand. Open the package. What? Tell him you know what it is. So... Don't open the package. Are we looping? We're fucking stuck in a time loop, huh? Um, it feels weird to tell him we know what it is. We should open it. We should just open it. How how did you know this? It's exactly as you imagined, as you dreamed. A feeling of panic rises in your throat. Your hand shakes. But how? Your dad notices. Are you okay, Roscoe? He snaps his fingers. Dr. Instance shouldn't have let you out so early. Sometimes these sleeping meds take a little while to wear off. They might make your head feel funny for a few hours. You nod. Maybe, maybe that's all it is. That would be really freaky if you were like a kid and you started having like really, really bad deja vu. Yeah. Like, 
Can you, I like, well, can you imagine? Like, more yeah. like full on premonitions about yeah. them, holding a package and being like, like I know what's in I'm, here. Ugh, yeah. It's wild that they just threw us immediately into like the premonitions, dream stuff. Like, you know that something's happening. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, there wasn't even like, we I were don't already new game plus. We died in the first like hour of the game. That's or true. not hour, we died in the first minute of the game. That's true. I mean, if you're gonna if you're gonna be playing a character stuck in a time loop, it makes sense that you were already you start as a new game plus. Yeah, you, you don't know? start with the first one. Yeah, yeah. totally. I, it was it was just like what? <laughs> it's kind of, there was no like warm up to it. We're just mm -hmm. kind of in it. And, but the rest of the game is still happening. Yeah. You know, like it's still happening like a, it's your first time playing this game, mm -hmm. but it's clearly not. It's it's really unnerving. <laughs> and, and to be clear, we're on a fresh save. This is, yeah. this is the first time user experience. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Um, someone shouts your dad's name. Listen, I'm sorry, Roscoe. He says. But I have to get back to work. There was an accident when we landed and. Oh, he stops himself. Don't worry. We're gonna fix it, your mother and I. Oh. Professor Hal is expecting you in classes if you're up, uh, feeling up to it. Your dad says, pointing west to the engineering wing in the rear end of the bisected ship. Then he points to the large doors you came out of earlier. Or you can relax in your quarters until you're feeling better. We'll talk later tonight, he says, then kisses the top of your head and ruffles your hair. Have a wonderful birthday, Roscoe. I love you. It's our birthday. We unlocked study humanities in engineering. I love you too, Dad. Yeah. To enter buildings, click on the door or flag beside it, uh, or get close and press enter or another action button. Yeah. Then choose an activity for the month to gain skills and advance time. There are 13 months a year and 10 years in to the end of the game. You'll only have time to focus on a few things. Okay. So prioritize. Okay. Hey, Hello. A friend. You see Dis sitting on the ground beside some bush bushes. Is he hiding from someone? He seems to be watching from the watching the gate in the wall to the south where grown-ups are coming and going. Who wants who wants the the child? I guess I'll be this kid. Okay. Kids are allowed past the walls, he says quietly without looking up. They say there's nothing to be afraid of, but then why do we need walls? You stare at the gate and have a sudden rush of memory so strong that you think you might faint. Ah, what the fuck is that? Uh, you imagine something crashing through the wall. Something enormous and dark and wriggly. For years in space, you have had half-remembered nightmares of monsters, of your ship being destroyed, of sifting through wreckage that used to be your home, trying to find something. Your dad always told you the dreams weren't real. Breaking from your daydream, Dis whispers, I think there are monsters out there. I believe you. Stop making things up. Our parents will keep us safe. I believe you. Oh. No, you don't, he says. You're being sarcastic, I can tell. Nobody believes me. He, oh, he turns his back and ignores you. Oh. They're huge and wriggly and dangerous, or leave them alone. I think, say that. I wonder if he has premonitions too. Yeah. It's like, uh, huge and wriggly and dangerous. Oh no! Oh, he thinks we're being like a bully. Mm -hmm. Oh man, I didn't mean that. We probably sound like we're being really mean right now. <laughs> oh no! Stop making fun of me! Dis pouts. You're as bad as Mars. Sorry, buddy. Oops. Well, I guess we gotta learn how to talk to people somehow. <laughs> um, command. Command is a warren of long hallways with doors off to tiny, nondescript offices. Everyone you pass seems to be hurrying off to something important. Uh, the end of the hallway opens into the supply depot, which works as both re uh, requisitions office and general store. Beyond it are cavernous warehouses stacked high with supplies from Earth, now being gradually unpacked and distributed. Okay, so this is command. Command, okay. This is where we came in, which means it's our quarters. Okay. Hey, an oh. enemy. Oh, cute. Uh, all right, who wants to be uh, an enemy? Um, I'll be an enemy. Okay. Hi, Erasco. An enemy seems really at home here. She's rolling a sports ball around with her foot, making patterns in the weird blue snow. This stuff is different from the snow on Earth. Is it snow? 
Uh, she tells you. Because it isn't cold. Oh. But it's still neat, and you can make stuff out of it. Oh. Your foggy head clears a little. Anatomy is simple, physical, real. You always feel grounded near her. What are you making? Have you seen any monsters? Why aren't you in school? And see you later. What are you making? <laughs> Just snow spirals, she says. But earlier, me and Cal were uh, making a big snow pal. You missed it while you were sleeping in med bay. She smiles her broad gap tooth smile at you. Now that you're awake, we can play. Okay. Have you seen any monsters? Why aren't you in school? We can just go down. Yeah, have you seen any monsters? Nope, just some little bugs. The grown-ups would say uh, if they were monsters, right? She shrugs, then smiles reassuringly. Even if there were monsters, Chief Rhett would beat them up with uh, beat them all up. So don't worry. My mom says that we're safer here than we were in space. Uh, you both look over at the wreckage of the stratospheric the spaceship where you were born. An enemy's mom, Auntie Sedent, um, is probably right about that. Look what the wormhole did to your ship. Why aren't you in school? Yeah. She smacks her forehead. School! Oh, I wondered where everyone was. I guess I'm gonna be late for humanities class. <laughs> she doesn't look very worried to you. It's okay, she says. Professor Hall is chill, and he won't mind. But we should probably go now. She grins and starts running towards engineering. Hey, Risu! No fair! She's getting a head start. Let's see if anyone else is out here. Okay, I think it was just them. All right, All right. school. I guess we're going to school. Engineering. Uh, oh, the art is all so cute. It's so good. Uh, a low throbbing noise comes from the engine room, which provides power to the colony. Other corridors lead off to the teaching labs and med bay. You know the route to your classroom well, but the rest of the wing is off limits to children. Congruence, the ship's onboard AI, beams down at you from a nearby hollow screen. Oh, can I be can I be Absolutely. Congruence? Absolutely. Don't forget to study hard, Roscoe. Alright, do we want to study life sciences, which will give us plus two biology, plus one reasoning, plus fifteen stress, uh, or humanities, plus two creativity, plus two persuasion, plus fifteen stress. They both stress us out, huh? Yeah. Um, <laughs> like the little brownie faces are like, no. Oh. <laughs> um, well, we're already going to biology and reasoning, so let's do the humanities. Okay. Let's do that. Yeah. Uh, welcome, Roscoe. Professor Hal greets you. I hope you're all warmed up and ready to study the glorious humanities. History, literature, language, media, and philosophy. And yes, if you're lucky, we'll have a little ancient earth poetry, too. He seems excited about that last bit. By the way, if anyone is interested in taking engineering classes, please register through Congruence's scheduling system when you have a chance. She'll be helping me teach them. Today's assignment is an easy one, Hal says with a yawn. Oh, apparently I was gonna I was supposed to yawn there. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> Didn't see that until it's too late. Uh, because it's part of cold reads. <laughs> Sometimes you stumble on information after the fact. <laughs> oh, <laughs> all right, good to know. <laughs> uh, because I was, l I was, l ugh, because I was up late repairing con Congress's subterminal, and I could use a nap. <sighs> I'd like you to write an essay on what the Vertumna colony means to you. Freedom, equality, democracy. My friends are all here. I feel safe here. Just doodle instead of writing. <laughs> uh, mm, I wonder if doodling would give us creativity. Uh, Possibly. But we should probably like follow the instructions, right? It, it, this is a role-playing game. <laughs> <laughs> I know, this is me. We get to define a character. Deciding. I think we should doodle. <laughs> We did. Yeah. And we got rebellion. Oh, we got. <laughs> and also plus one creativity. Oh, we got rebellious. Yeah. Interesting. True to his word, Hal leans back in his chair and begins to snore. Uh, you doubt he'll ever bother reading this assignment, so you just practice drawing made up animals on your hollow pad and palm instead. Uh oh. Oh, we got a, a, a down. We lost kudos. No! When Hal wakes from his nap, he asks a few students to read their essays to the class. You're docked, a, uh, you're docked a few kudos when he discovers you didn't bother to do the assignment. He thinks your animals are pretty cool, though. Luckily, we had no kudos to begin with, Hal. Oh. All right. Does Here it go, go to negative kudos? No, we just have zero. Oh. <laughs> well. It's, no, it's the little thing next to the thumb that's at fine. the top. We'll get yeah. kudos eventually, I suppose. Um, 
When you work or go to class, you'll play a quick card challenge as the month passes. Move cards to fill the five panels and make the best hand you can. Yes, order matters. If your total in the circle on the right reaches the goal value, you win. Uh, depending on your cards, some challenges can't be won, but you can. S uh, you still get a reward for doing your best. Oh, interesting. Oh, okay. So we get these cards as stuff happens. It's our memories. We basically use our the the concept is we are utilizing everything that we've learned in order to uh, approach challenges and to basically solve problems with the person that we have been. This is so fascinating. Um, so I don't okay, I don't I mean this in like the the most complimentary way possible. Mm -hmm. This feels like a game you would have made. Yeah. Like <laughs> you're, you're not wrong. Yeah. Like <laughs> there's a reason it appeals very strongly. <laughs> <laughs> this is a game that Gina would 100% have made. <laughs> That's incredibly the sweet of you. <laughs> yeah. like, I, it, it, I, it does appeal to me on an incredibly base level. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I love it so much. <laughs> So that, I'm going to be real. That that made my whole week right there. I'm so glad. Um, but yeah, so it's basically, you know, like flushes and straights and all in pairs and all of that with the different colors. Um, but uh, yeah. Okay. It's utilizing our memories. So bon bonus for flushes, um, same colors together. Bonus for pairs, same numbers together. Okay. Um, bonus for straights, increasing from left to right. Okay. Uh, the more cards in a flush pair or straight, the higher the bonus added to your total. Cards can also affect each other and can be rearranged to find the best total score. Okay. Yeah. So, so we're trying right to now get a nice we're going to go little zero, 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 one, one. Okay. And that works because these are, this is a That's... triple pair. Uh, then it's pairs and then also all the blues are together. And it's, it's our progression through, through our memories. Yeah. Too. So it totally As baby. makes sense. Into Look, toddler, into child. Baby, baby, we absorb toddler, child, we walk. Mm -hmm. Yay. <laughs> we won. <Win>. Victorious. <laughs> Woo. You worked well this month. Plus one creativity. Yay. And we got a kudo, so mm -hmm. that's nice. Uh, your skills increase when you work or go to school with extra skills if you win the challenge and a kudos bonus if you make the highest scoring hand with your cards. Uh, working also increases stress, which pre prevents you from working if it reaches 100. To relieve stress, take a month off to relax in the quarter's wing. Oh, cool. all right. So stress only goes down when you relax. Yes. Is that right? Or, okay. or I mean, like, I think there's some activities that will relieve stress, but, like, for the most part, you're eventually going to have to take a break. Got it. Okay. Yeah. Um uh, your parents have been working from first dawn to well after dinner every day. You know growing food is an important job, and it's vital to get crops in the ground right away, but there seems to be something more than that. It's such a change from growing up on the stratospheric when you saw them all the time. Uh, you stay up and wait for them at night before going to bed. Though you can tell they're exhausted, they make an effort to spend time with you. I'm sorry we haven't uh, you haven't seen much uh, I'm sorry we haven't seen much of you little gooseberry your dad says your mom watches you as she works a pebble out of her gardening tiller which also serves as a crutch how have you been holding up uh I learned some stuff in school yeah I guess I'm glad to hear that uh your mom says I want you to study hard work hard and stay out of trouble your dad smiles. And Professor Hal will give you kudos if you get good grades. We can spend those at the depot once it's open. I'm not sold on that voice for her. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna refine her. That's fine. Um, okay. Well, we're we're discovering these characters and we can tailor the voices That's to them fair. as we go. Yeah. You know. Your dad says, raising an eyebrow at your mom. I think there are lots of way different ways to learn, and school is just one of them. You can learn from working on a hobby or by helping a friend. Yeah. All experiences are learning experiences. Indeed. Yes. Your mom shakes her head and sighs, though you can tell she's trying to put on a gentle expression. We both agree that this colony is an experiment, and that means we're going to do things differently than on Earth. You're old enough now to start making your own decisions about your education and future. And if that means you find your own way, we accept that. Your dad puts a hand puts a hand on your shoulder. We'll be proud of you no matter what you do. Try talking to your friends. They may have ideas on how you can spend your time. And come by Geoponics, your mom adds. We could use your help. 
unlock shoveling dirt in geoponics. Our dad is like the softy and our mom is just like, a, I want, oh yeah. Yeah, our <laughs> dad work. is very soft. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and our mom, maybe less so. Yeah. Hey, an enemy. Hello. An enemy is uh, bumping a sports ball with her wrists, trying to keep it in the air. Heads up! She shouts and bumps the ball in your direction. Think fast! We are not good enough to do a trick, no. but we could bounce it back. Bounce it back. Yeah. You bounce the ball back and forth with her, trying to see how many times you can rally and keep it going. Uh, oh, excuse me. An enemy tells you about uh, the new sports ball court, a proper regulation-sized court, way bigger than the little zero-G one on the stratospheric. Her brother, Calm, is co coaching the junior sports ball team this year. I love that it's just called sports it's ball. Just, they were just like, it's just sports <laughs> ball. We're not even going to make up a fake sport. We're just going to call it sports ball. Yeah. <laughs> He's so great, she says. He's good at everything, especially spiking. He's coaching me to play awesome with him. You should come join us. Okay. Um. Who all right, so that's the wall. outside? It's Dad. Dad. Hello, my little potato. I like that we're a different vegetable every time. <laughs> uh, your dad exclaims, smiling warmly. Where? Uh, what have you been up to today? Um, Just hanging with my friends? Staying in. It's cold out here. Playing in the fresh air. Playing in the fresh air. He breathes deeply and looks slowly around. Vertumna, Vertumna is magnificent, isn't it? You nod. Seasons! He shouts, throwing his hands wide. I miss seasons! Oh, no more seasons on Earth, huh? Oh. Back on Earth, it got much, much colder, and the snow wasn't half as pretty as our spark snow. He sighs, stretching. You just wait until dust season. Both the suns will be high in the sky, and it'll be real hot then. You'll see. Wow. So it's like it's not cold right no, now. No, it's it's like it's it's snow, but not cold snow. I guess it's like whatever, whatever's making up this snow. It like. It turn it condenses. It or must I guess freeze at a freeze much higher temperature. At a yeah. higher temperature, yeah, which is wild. Um, you find your mom hard at work setting up the greenhouses with a small construction crew. You've seen these plans pinned to the walls of your family's quarters for years now. These geodesic domes will house the more delicate plants from Earth: spinach, tomatoes, maybe even fruit. She takes a swing from her a swig from her canteen as you approach. Looking for something to do? She asks. Remember, Roscoe, you're responsible for your own schedule now that we've landed. You can decide how you want to spend your time, so long as it's productive. She points towards the engineering wing in the back hall of the stratospheric severed frame. Professor Hal's still expecting you in class, but a well-rounded education includes practical application. You're old enough to help with work around here. She, clap she claps her hand on your shoulder. I've got another minute. Uh, anything you need to know? Want to just go through them? Yeah. What are you doing in geoponics? Yeah. She looks down and nudges at a sprout growing between her feet. It's green with the color of Earth, the color of Earth's plants. We're doing our best, she says, but it hasn't been easy. I just hope the potatoes and corn can handle the weather here, she says, glancing up at the sky. I hear it rains like hell in the wet season. She takes a long look at you up and down. You're growing fast, Roscoe, but you're still too young for real farming. Instead, there's a lot of soil that needs to be hauled. Seeing your disappointment, she nudges you on the shoulder. Don't pout. It'll help build those muscles. You'll need them now that we're out in the real world doing real work. Out here, we have to re rely on our physical strength. She flexes her biceps. Your mom is really strong. What's <laughs> happening in engineering? Yeah. Hal's teaching classes on life science, engineering, and humanities. Sorry. If you pass all of your tests, maybe he'll let you work there for a few years. Your father thinks you're old enough that school is optional. I don't agree, but I'll be honest with you, she says, gesturing at the fields. We do need every pair of hands we can get. If you want to work with me here in geoponics, I suggest studying life sciences. If you don't have a good grasp of biology and ecology, I'm going to stick you on shovel duty. What can I do in the quarters? Yeah. If you need a break, she advises, you can visit the lounge and see your friends. But, she warns, raising a finger, if I don't see you, uh, I don't want to see you lounging around all the time. You need to work hard, too. What's the garrison? Yeah. Security Chief Red is organizing a sports ball team. You used to play, didn't you, back on the ship? It'll be different here with the plant's gravity. 
with all the adults in the colony, Rhett and your mom are the most are the bleh. Rhett and your mom are the most like soldiers you'd seen on a holovid. Uh, for a moment, you think your mom's going to suggest something else. Then she shakes her head. You're too young for defense training, so don't worry about that yet. Just enjoy yourself and stay out of trouble. What's going on in command? Yeah. I think Seek said that. So uh, I think Seek said they need someone to deliver supplies from the depot. They're also setting up a shop there. If you've got some kudos to spend, and of course where Captain uh, Uticot. Wait, and of course that's where Captain Uticot. Utico. Uh, Probably know. Uticot. Uticot. Uh, I mean Governor Uticot works. But you shouldn't bother her. She's a busy woman and she doesn't have your mother's patience with kids. You try not to giggle. Your mom isn't usually known for her patience. <laughs> Can I join expeditions? Oh, you're too young to leave the colony. It's dangerous. She shakes her head. Your father would be worried. There's so much we still don't know about the world out there. Let the adults find out. Then maybe you can join them in a few years when you're older. She gives you a stern look. She isn't going to budge on this one. For now, stay inside the walls. Okay, bye. Okay, thanks, Mom. What's up, Dis? Oh, yeah. Dis looks, his, looks at his feet and pretends not to notice you. We need 20 bravery to dare him to eat a worm. Wow. <laughs> but we do not have that. Okay. We have not that much bravery. We, we have our, zero bravery. We have no bravery. <laughs> not, a, a, not a speck of bravery I, in this boy. Our our uh like stats are just kind of... Hmm. I mean, I, we are a 10-year-old. That's true. We're a little kid. We've got a little bit of empathy. A little yeah. bit of creativity. Yeah, they've, they've got pretty good reasoning. And, oh, they've got really good biology. A little bit of animals. And a little bit of animals. Okay. Hey, Mars. Mars. A sharp whistle interrupts your thoughts. Ooh, who wants to be Mars? You you uh, took what looked like a like an older version of her in that memory. The, like, distorted. Oh, yeah, 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 I did. Okay. Hey, Roscoe! Mars calls out to you. Come here, I have a job for you. Um, you walk over to Mars, who's sheltering from the sh from the snow under the ship's overhang. It's so gross here, she complains. This spark snow would ruin my good clothes. At least on the ship we had climate control. Ugh. Tammy made some soy bleh. Tammy made some soy sweets, but there's no way we're going out there in all this weather, she continues. Since you like running around in it, could you fetch them for me? Okay, get them yourself. Sure. Okay. Good! Mars claps. She probably just went down the hall near our quarters. Mars sighs. She's scared to make more than a few steps from the door. All she wants to do is hide inside and make sweets. All right, Mars. Tammy! Tammy! Tammy is staring obliviously at the sky, smiling to herself. She startles as you approach. Oh, uh, hello, Roscoe. She says, putting her hand on her chest. Do you need something? For Mars's soy sweets? Tammy smiles at you. Oh, it's so nice of you to help out with Mars. She's a very important person, you know? She hands you a box wrapped in pink and yellow in a pink and yellow scarf. One order of mango soy sweets made fresh this morning, she says. Please tell Mars that she can have the scarf back, okay? She used some of her kudos to nanoprint it for me because it's so dusty here, but I think I'm getting used to it now. Oh, Tammy smiles again and tucks her hair behind her big elven ears. Mars is so cool, she says fondly. Sometimes she's kind of bossy, but I know she really cares too. Cool. Mars, here's your sweets. Mars. Mars puts her hand out expectantly. Give it here. Here it is. I ate them. I want half. If you want them, you got to pay up. <laughs> but we can't uh, do these. <laughs> here it is, I guess. Here you go. Yeah. Uh, you hand over the box of soy sweets with a smile. Mars takes it and giggles. <laughs> You're such a good sidekick doing everything I say. She opens the box and hands you a soy sweet. Your tip, she tells you. Oh, and Administrator Seek's looking for someone to do delivery jobs for the depot, she says. I don't want to do it because, like, ew, running around out there? No. Just go through there, she says, gesturing at the door behind her, and tell them I referred you. Okay. 
Okay. Wait a sec. Are there any other children? What's up, Tammy again? Tammy. You see Tammy sitting quietly near the entrance to the lounge. You've known her for, well, your whole entire life. Uh, back on the ship, you... Used to play with her, were her study partner, used to tease her. Oh. Um, I don't know. She's so cute. I feel like maybe we used to be a study partner. Okay. I don't know. Tammy was awful, just awful awful at earth history <laughs> she thought europe was the name of an english queen and the pacific was a famous ceasefire treaty facts go in one of her huge ears and out that the other <laughs> no matter how hard she you tried she never seemed to improve uh her ears perk up hopefully when she sees you hello roscoe um i was hoping that you could help me with some homework uh, of course uh maybe later pretend you didn't hear her and keep walking <laughs> Uh, sure. We'll do homework. Yeah. We got dumber. No! <laughs> well, good thing we had a little surplus. Yeah. Oh, thank you. She bounces up and down. I can't believe that made us dumber. <laughs> <laughs> you spent a couple of hours trying to teach her the difference between exothermic and endothermic reactions. Uh, one makes heat, the other absorbs it. Why is this so hard for her to understand? The thing is, Tammy never loses heart when she fails a test or gets an answer wrong. It's inspiring, even though sometimes you feel like sh you get dumber after uh, studying with her. <laughs> wow. Thanks, Tammy. That was great. <laughs> wow. Thanks for actively taking away from our stats, Tammy. <laughs> so I think we have some options. We can play sports ball, which is going to plus two our bravery, plus one our toughness, plus one friendship with an enemy, and plus ten stress. Okay. We can. Register for engineering courses, study life science. I'm going to just do this, sure. I think. Just do it. Yeah. We have the reasoning for it. Using Congress's hollow net scheduling system is almost a test of on its own. You feel like a hacker navigating the confusing interface, but manage to add your name to the list of drop-in students. Uh, you're now eligible to join Tangent and some of the older students' engineering classes. Hoorah. Oh. Plus one organizing and then plus two engineering. We smart. Cool. Okay. Um, so we can go do that for the month if we want. I'm going to go here because I think Mars told us we can. Okay. Nope, we're not good enough to apply for delivery uh, supplies. Okay. Command is a warren of long hallways with doors off to the tiny. Oh, we already read this. this. Yep. yep. So we need plus, uh, we need 10 toughness or organizing 10 or greater to apply for that. Um, I think mom said we could check out geoponics. So let's check this out. Okay. Here we uh, go. The ge okay. The greenhouses. Did I have, have I read this yet? No. Okay. Uh, the greenhouses have different biomes inside. Oh, geez. Uh, growing plants from earth that might belong to a desert, jungle, or temperate forest. Some are so delicate you have to spray off any germs in an airlock before you can enter. The seasonal garden outside is dotted with blue nobodies, little flowers with what look like wriggling creatures stuck inside each one. Ooh, interesting. Uh, a sign explains it's a decoy meant to attract some kind of flying predator to come pollinate the flower. Huh. So we could shovel dirt here and that would up our toughness, up our friendship with Cal, plus five kudos and plus 15 stress. Hmm. Okay. Um, so we haven't run into Cal yet, have no, we? No, we haven't run into Cal or Tangent. Okay. Um, so as you can probably tell, uh, there's, there's a bit of a tension in this game. Mm -hmm. Um, we need certain stats to unlock new things that we can do, yeah. but we also, so we want to diversify in order to unlock as much as possible, but also we probably want to go deep on some stats as well. So yeah. there's a, there's a tension between our desire to diversify and our desire to, um, be like really good at certain things. Yeah. Um, so do we want to up toughness do we want to up engineering and biology or reasoning do we want to up um you can see like the stats are divided into three groups so we have the yellow ones which are all like interpersonal skills uh-huh we have the blue ones which are all like logic and mm -hmm. we have the red ones which are all like physical abilities um so do we want to like up our toughness so that we can open the delivery do we want to use our smart brain and get like uh engineering that we just unlocked do we want to learn how to talk with people and take more life sciences? Like, what are you feeling? I'm I'm torn between uh, doing engineering and pursuing that since we're like, we, we kind of bumped that whenever we started. 
but I'm also interested in upping persuasion because I feel like that could be generally really useful. Okay. Um, so, um, I don't think we... Do we have anything for persuasion? Yes, oh, okay. we can. We can up persuasion with uh, humanities, humanities if we want. And then what does engineering give us? Engineering is engineering and reasoning. Engineering and reasoning. And then life sciences is biology, biology and, and reasoning. reasoning. Okay. Oh, man. All right. Um... Yeah, then maybe we'll study humanities. Okay. Let's do that. Yeah. Uh, this month, you've decided to explore pre-holographic media on Earth, which is apparently a pretty great excuse to pick ba kick back and watch movies all day. Great. We're taking film class. Yes. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's hard to believe that all movies used to be 2D. Boring. It feels too much like learning to be fun. Get to work. Oh. Okay. 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 So I'm going to uh, do zero, 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 one, one, four. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Excellent. You worked hard this month. Plus one creativity. Okay. Oh, we got an extra creativity. Mm -hmm. And an extra kudos. And kudos. And we got some stress, though. Yep. Okay. I think that's unavoidable. Yeah. This week you had a few, ba this week you had a few more bouts of deja vu remembering what somebody is about to say or do just before they do it. Sometimes they actually do it, but not always. <coughs> Bless you. Oh my goodness. Uh, oh my gosh, the little tentacle thing in the... <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, I, don't I don't know, know if that looks tasty to me. It's kind of hairy. <laughs> no, I don't like that. The cake, whatever the cake is, I could get down with that. Um, this morning you were sure Professor Hal was going to trip on the uneven floor in the cafeteria and spill his plate of hash browns. You even told Mars to watch. He didn't, though. As Professor Hal walked away, his hash browns safe for as Professor Hal walked away, his hash browns safe for today, Mars called you a liar and a dummy. Oh, oh, at night your dreams are all mixed up with stuff that you know can't be real. You're chased by monsters the size of buildings, only to be saved by strange people you've never met. You're holding hands with someone you love. You're crying as you help lift a shrouded body into the colony recycler. Everything seems so familiar, but when you try to recall their faces when you wake up, they're smeared in your memory like wet paint. But what if... What if those things haven't happened yet but they will someday. Oh, we ke are like our we keep seeing other timelines. We keep thinking like our deja vu like is two other timelines too, but mm -hmm. we don't know if we're in that timeline that's going to realize it or not. Yeah, and and like we don't know if the events that caused how to trip are going to happen in this timeline in yeah. this kind of case it looks like no. Yeah, wow. Anytime you try to tell someone, they think you're playing a trick or that you're sick and you need to go to med bay. You eventually decide to stay quiet about your strange dreams. Why? You don't want people to worry. You don't want, uh, you just want to be normal. Secret powers are fun. Hmm. You don't want people to worry. Your parents have so much on their minds already. You have a feeling that something is happening at geoponics that they w don't want you to know. You don't understand it. But when they come home at night, they look really sad. You don't want to make that worse. Uh-oh, maybe the plants mm -mm. aren't growing right. That would be not good. That would be really bad. <laughs> if our food source is already failing, which means the whole colony is going to fail, or we need to go out into the world and try to get other supplies and, and food and stuff. I don't know. But this is like a whole other planet. Like this is a whole <laughs> other fucking planet. Yeah. Uh. If you just keep going to classes and staying out of trouble, it'll be easier for everyone, yourself included. All right. Quiet. Next month. Late quiet. Late quiet. Oh, Hi. someone new. Tangent. Oh, I love her design. Uh, Tangent is hunched over her hollow palm, frowning and poking angrily at the air. She speaks without looking up at you. Professor Hal wants to prep a list of native flora and pictures. There should be a catalog of the colony hollow net, but I can't find it anywhere. Plants? Have you tried my hands <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll help you find that catalog. Let's make our own list. Um, we could help her find the catalog, I suppose. Okay, I'll help yeah. you find the catalog. Yeah. 
And we yeah. got organizing and plus, plus two, two friendship, friendship with Tangent. Nice. Uh, you launch your own hollow palm and start searching the colony's holonet archives for a list of vertumnal plants and animals. Ten minutes later, you find it buried under survey, log survey logistics in the expedition's net. Cool. An enemy passes by and pulls a face at the two of you. Hey, hollow nerds! She shouts. School's over! Come on, play, uh, come play sports ball in the sunshine! Tang just rolls her eyes. Okay, we helped you. Yeah. <laughs> but hey, do you have anything? we're friends. An enemy holds her stomach as you approach. Does the air here make you feel hungry all the time, or is it just me? She wonders. I feel like I could eat a whole one of the mushroom trees. Just, ow! <laughs> she mimes shoving a whole giant mushroom in her mouth. We cannot do this. Want to train together? We need 20 toughness. Okay, that's fine. Okay. I want to see if we can find Cal, our apparent best friend. Yeah, he does. Who hasn't shown up. A oh, this still, oh, we disc. can't uh, oh, you can convince. Oh, uh, the door's open. Here's Cal. Cal! Cal is riding around Geoponics Garden, but ride, riding around the Geoponics Gardens on his hoverboard. The board comes to a sudden shuddering stop on the rocky ground in front of you. Cal falls off, but catches his breath before he eats dirt. Can I be Cal? Yeah, absolutely. I, Cal. I love that he hangs out in hydroponics, which is like where our Her family, family is. is. Yep. So it makes sense that he would be like our family friend. Absolutely. I, I kind of like that. Hi, Roscoe. Uh, real ground is way harder to hover on than ship floors. There are bumps everywhere. Yeah, that sucks. Maybe hoverboards don't work outside? We all have to adapt. Yeah, that sucks. Oh, no way. I, I didn't mean it like that, Cal explains. It's actually really cool. Oh, hovering outside is rad. Look at this. He runs over to a small depression in a nearby hill and presents it like it's something amazing. Look at this! It's a skate bowl! Cool, can I try? A what now? Cool, can I try? Yeah! Sure, but, um, please be careful. Mom says if I break my hoverboard, we, we can't make another one. Uh, you take turns riding around the bowl, trying to get up enough speed going down the one side to come back the other. You don't land any tricks. It's hard just staying on the board with the une this uneven ground. But it's still fun. Yeah! Cool! Yeah, Cal! Indeed. Uh, What's up, Mars? Else? Mars. I'm bored. This is boring. Mars complains, stamping her foot. All the adults, all the adults want to do is work, and they're not even paying attention to me. Uh, we need twenty plus persuasion in order to tell her about our day. To be like, yeah. Apparently, we're boring. Tammy's dad is the head of expeditions, which means he's out surveying the jungle every day. This morning, you see her crying in the doorway as he leaves. I don't like it when he goes out there. She sniffs after he's gone. But he's so brave. And so are you. That's why I like you, Roscoe. We need plus 20 empathy to perform a random act of kindness. Are we supposed to have, like, a lot more stats by now? It feels like we're no. underleveled. Okay, are we okay no, we with just, that? We just need to All develop. Right. Oh! Is this, uh, dad? This yeah. looks like Tammy's dad. Uh, you step cautiously through the colony gates. Who, uh, well, uh, hmm? Hey there, kiddo. Yeah. Uncle Tonin blocks your way with a smile. I'm afraid expeditions are off limits for now. It's not safe out there for kids. You'd better toughen up if you want to join the squad when you're older. We need 20 plus tough en uh, toughness to say I'm tough enough. We need 20 plus bravery to say I'm brave enough. We can view the map, view the bestiary, and leave. View the map and the bestiary. What are those? Map. Okay. Where are we? Known it lands of Vertumna. Okay. An info window pops up on your hollow palm when you get closer. What do you want to know about? Um. Uh, These don't super matter to us because we can't, like, do anything. But yeah. it might be good to learn about our area. Okay. Uh, where's the Prosaic Plains? Okay. Uh, the Prosaic Plains lie far to the north of the colony, where the higher ele elevation and natural tilt of the planet makes uh, bromidic snow fall more regular regularly in every season. Oh, it's bromide. Interesting. Um, though prone to sudden storm flurries, the plains are a relatively safe place to explore filled with mostly herbivorous uh, xenofauna. Okay. The Valley of Vertigo. Valley of Vertigo. The Valley of Vertigo is a low-lying trench to the east that's dense with pollen-producing trees. There's a wide variety of edible food here. Both plants and animal product uh, 
both both plants and animal product, uh, leading to some of the explorers calling this place the breadbasket of Vertumna. There is a number of there are a number of animals here that geoponics would be interested in domesticating. Cool. The what western a- resting ridge. The uh. Resting the western resting ridge. This tongue twisting region <laughs> is the broken spine of the planet, home to both dizzying heights and abyssal lows. Uh, it's always hot and arid here, no matter the season. Traversing these steep chasms is dangerous and only to be done by those with sufficient glider training. However, there are some interesting ruins here to explore. And the subaqueous uh, swamp. Subaqueous, okay. Whoa. Uh, to the south is a vast, boggy wilderness, home to dangerous animals and hazardous weather conditions. Uh, exploration in this area is only to be done with extreme caution. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Oh, wait, the bestiary. Oh, yeah. I don't, we've not seen any beasts. Oh, really? Okay. Uh, I'm just curious. Yeah, I don't think there's going to be. Beasts? Okay. Float cow? There's a float cow. Float cow. <laughs> Hopeye, a manticore. And Xeno- those are the three. Le- Xenolevis bovidae. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> These cumbersome looking creatures are actually lighter than air due to the large helium sacs on dorsal and ventral sides. Careful balancing careful balancing of helium and urine allows them to control their elevation. Excuse me. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> They've got like a swim bladder, but yeah, they, they float. But up. Yeah. <laughs> they produce a salty, high protein, milky substance for feeding their young that is also nutritious for humans. Ew, salty milk. That's gross. That's gross. The common hop eye. Xenophilus uh, monopotus, um, a communal creature with two disparate sets of eyes and one strong foot used for both locomotion and defense. Though harmless, these small warriors can be fierce in groups. Manticore. Ooh. Manticore. Uh, Xenophilus tyrannus, a highly intelligent and predatory. Their plumage changes according to the season. Their body is composed almost entirely of dangerous weapons. Do not approach. Oh, boy. That doesn't sound very good. That sounds bad. It's it's body is knives. Don't touch it. Yeah, stay away. Man, that's li- <laughs> almost literally what it says. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Do we want to work in hydroponics? Do we want to play sports ball? Do we want to study? There's so many choices. Do you want to decide what to do next time? I think that sounds great. I feel like we've gotten a very, like we've met most of our little, our little friends. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, we're starting to get a feel for our little colony. Yeah. It's super cute. It's very charming so far. There's something, something's going on in the background. I mean, obviously in that we're having premonitions and dreams and deja vu and remembering timelines and seeing the future and past selves. And I don't know what's going on. Yeah. But it, it's, it, it seems complicated, but it's just there. It's just kind of like, Hey, by the way, that's just happening. Yeah, that's happening. But you should probably figure out what you want to study yeah. and hang out with your friends and yeah. stuff. Because, like, honestly, deja vu's not going to, like, that's not your day to day. Right. Yeah. It doesn't matter what you're seeing. You still have to live life. Exactly. <laughs> and, like, we we saw with that choice there, we had to decide, like, all right, well, why? Like, we mm-hmm. just, we don't want people to worry about us. So we're just going to keep going and everything's going to be fine. It's yeah. okay. Look at our friends. And... Yeah. They're our little our little buddies. Our little our little buddies. Oh wait, Flulu? Oh, that's our mom. Yeah. And our dad is geranium. Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I I all the names in this game are wild. Like they're they're just delightful. I like them a lot. They're really they're really fun. I love all the ca- the art design is lovely. It's so cute. Like all of the character designs, like even the little overworld characters are really cute as well. Mm. Like they, they, uh, I don't know. They style match them really nicely. It's just really cute and charming. I completely agree. And I'm so excited to get to explore this game as we start to grow up. Yeah. Uh, But right now it's just, it's only been like two months. (laughs) Yeah. We're still getting used to things. (laughs) Just little Roscoe. They just woke up bonk their head they're doing they're doing okay all things considered but i'll be excited to see how again how they grow yeah i'm super excited all right we'll decide what we're gonna do next time see you then folks bye